All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922 here to bring you One Piece chapter review. Now, unlike Bleach, One Piece was actually pretty damn good to a certain extent. Um, a lot of things happened. Now, I would give this a five, but the thing is, a lot of shit happened, and the thing about it was, was that there wasn't really. It went all over the place. Pretty much. And that's why it's only getting 4 out of 5 instead of solid 5 out of 5. Um, and pretty much this was revealing time. This was, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone knew who Fuji Fujitora was. But this uh, chapter basically clarified that. It also showed us, like, two other people. I mean, last week they showed freaking Burgess. Hey, Seuss Burgess. I mean, like, damn. And in this chapter, they revealed an organization and another pirate. And I'm like, damn, that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, let's get into it. Um, this was... Just checking my messages here. Um, this is fucking annoying. How many fucking messages? Ah! <laughs> so, this pretty much was 500 and 700. I said 500. Nope. 700. 705. Um, let me mute this so there's no problems with that. Um, 705. This one was called Maynard the Pursuer. Now, it starts off with pretty much Burgess showing there and everything. And, and Frankie's talking to this the, the soldier guy. And he's talking about that Frankie wants, wants to find somebody from the Dumb Flamingo household. And he wants him to show it to him. Um, and, the, 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 you know, the toy soldier say that that t topic is so, so taboo here. Let's go somewhere quieter to talk about it. And then we also get a conversation between, um, a, um, you know, a Marine soldier talking to somebody through a Mushi Mushi snail. And he's talking to this guy that is the title of Maynard the Pursuer. And Maynard, what he does is he, um, he's going out and in, in, in targeting pirates. And he targets one pirate um, known as Gambi, G Gambia the Missionary, who's part of Baltimore. can't even say his name, Barto, Barto, Lemio, Lemio, can't say his name. I apologize. Barto Melo, Melo, Mios. I can't say it. Bar, Bar Bartolo, Mio, Mayo. Can't say it. Anyway, his crew, and he's a rookie pirate, and he targets him and just pretty much takes him out. <laughs> he calls him back five minutes, ten, ten minutes, and he takes him out, and he, he um. Deals with him. Bartolomo, Bar Bar Bartolo, Bartolomo's meals. Us, uh, he's telling basically on the phone that he's part of that that group, that that crew, and Maynard. And it says Maynard the pursuer, and he has basically he's doing that. He took him out, and then we see the blind swordsman, and it should not be a surprise here that he is. He is Fujitora. I mean, this wasn't a huge surprise. I had a feeling. It could only have been a few people. He could have been Fujitora. Or he could have been just like something else. But Fujitora was more or less more reasonable one. And he's talking to one of the, the, the Marine soldiers. And he says, request that, that there be three battleships. Their destination will be, what was it again? Green Bit. You're right, that's the spot. And something else. All right, 
We need medical squad squadrons to come and be in full force. There will be quite a few bodies hitting the floor. And he's an admiral. That's even way more than what we expected. He's an admiral. I was like, holy shit. Talk about craziness. But yeah, and... Um, uh, man, he's making a checklist for enemies is imperative. Shouldn't you count the number of people who need protecting be our priority? And the rest of the episode chapter, I should say, we had Robin and the gang. The, we go back. So there was like several scenes. And that's why this chapter's only getting a four out of five. If it was focusing on one specific part, I would have said differently. But it was mm, going all over the place. And so it was like, yeah, you know, it was... I felt that it was going all over the place. That, that was my problem there. But overall, it still gets a 4 out of 5. Now, basically here what happens is they're talking to this guy. Robin is talking to him and saying, he's saying that, oh, you better not get here. Well, get out of here while it's getting good. And Robin's like saying, the bridge looks rather sturdy, though am I right? Um... And basically, he's telling them that you shouldn't go on the bridge to Greenbit because there are these fishes, these fighting fishes, who have these horns. And they'll take down the bridge, and you'll be dead, basically. And, and, and he says, didn't make a difference. These fish can take down an iron bridge. And everything, and, and you know, Usopp's up, upset about it. And then Usopp's telling Lol, oh, you better, we gotta change the location. And he says, no, we're going to proceed as planned. Save your barely aching for someone who cares. Never mind the current atmosphere in this. Never mind that. Doesn't, and he's basically saying, Lol, the current atmosphere in this country bother anyone else. Their leader has just renounced his royal status, and everyone's acting as if nothing happened. Then he's screaming, Usopp's saying, what the hell you're fixing it on? And then Robin's like, looking at him, saying, shh. And at first, I'm like, why is she making him shush? Like, what's that about? And then we find out there are these people. CP0. CP9. Now we have CP0. This is huge, people. Now, with all these events happening, Fujitor Admiral, we got, um... CP0, it points to something specific. I do not think they are there for Luffy and his group. No. No. And I was discussing this with other people, you know, Zoro and the gang, when we did the One Piece thing podcast. I think they are there for Dumb Flamingo. That's what I think so. I mean, I don't know if the Marines... The Marines are probably there for Dumb Flamingo. But these guys... They're probably... Well, maybe. We haven't really fig figured it out, out yet. Um, and it, Marlon was basically saying in this situation that... You know, anything that... The, the, it's not good to will follow. But bad things will follow you when you follow them. When it's well said. And then we go to Zoro. <laughs> Zoro, they see the fairy... He grabs the sword. The fairy situation is weird because it seems like what the story with that is they're invisible. So yeah, and he basically falls down, Zoro, and he gets a boulder tip on of him. And then, are, and then there's only like two other scenes in this chapter. Well, three other scenes in this chapter. We see Kinimon getting hustled by these guys who are after him and saying, um, he says, don't try any funny business and come with us. Otherwise, who knows what will happen to your pal, Conjuro, which was his samurai friend. And then we see Sanji. Oh, Sanji, man. Sanji. Sanji. Damn. Listen. No fucking around. Violet. I fucking bang her. No, no question. You know what? And I was talking to you guys with it. You know, I think it's true. This girl's got some back. Like. Damn, she's got some hips. Those hips don't lie. And he's this funny as Anji says, 
Can it only be me? Dear Nobby side and Robbie John. What's the weather like you were part of the the worst part of the world that he's saying, I've been swallowed up by a hurricane called love. Finally, I found me and I'm in bliss. Love and I found me and I'm in bliss, basically, he's saying. Um, and then we go to... <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying any bad things here. But he... But, 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 Momononosuke, man. I know you're playing Shogun and everything, but you're... It's almost as if you want to just... Well, Nami. I'm getting way too close to Nami, in my opinion. This is, like, way too close. to like Shogun and everything. And then she's obviously saying, How's my lord feeling this day? And then we see Brooke going on top of Nami. And he's saying, Does my happiness matter? Please you as well? Yo! <laughs> it was funny, because he said, Oh, cr head and crotch party. And he said, What kind of party? And... That they're basically having a good time there with the Shogun thing and whatnot. And then Brooke starts singing for, for him. And then they hear a noise coming from, you know, L Luffy and the other guy, the guy's uh, uh, sleeping quarters. And they're saying, no, 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 this simply won't do. And they're saying, whose voice is that? And then ends there. And then finally we go back to the, 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 the Coliseum. And we see Bartomalu. That, that's his name. But Bartolomeu can't even say his name. Try to say it. It's so hard to say. Um, and he, he's going to be in Division B, according to this guy. And he says, I'm on my way. And he says, oh, you haven't seen Captain wandering around these parts, have you? Can't say that I have. And we see the guy who Maynard, he was taken out by Bartolomeu. I can't say his name. I apologize, people. Oh, so hard to say. Bartolomeu. Mew. 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 Bartolomeu. Whatever. Anyway. And that's pretty much what happened. Now. Pretty good chapter. Pretty good fucking chapter, I have to say. Logistically. Because. Even though. And like I said, it's all over the place. All over the place. But. CP0. Fucking awesome. Fujitora. Admiral. Fucking awesome. So those are, those are the key parts there. And, you know, the rest was just Sanji flirting with Violet, which, you know, she's fucking hot. Um, and Zoro following a fairy. Really nothing happened in this chapter, except for the Fujitora thing, Bartolomeu, and, I apologize, I can't say his name, and CP0. I'm wondering, though, and here's the question for you guys. Are they going after the same thing that Fujitora and the Marines are after. Because to me, I personally believe Fujitora and the Marines, they're after Don Flamingo. But CP0, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't... It's very confusing to me because I want to say they're after Don Flamingo, but I don't know. It's... It's confusing to me. I wonder about that. Are they really after Dumb Flamingo? Tell me what you guys think. Comments below. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So yeah, good chapter. Liked how it was structured. But, you know, it was a four because it could have gotten a five if if they weren't jumping, up, jumping all over the place. You know, it wasn't no... It was just bits and pieces of different parts. And... Um, that's the way I would have did it, I guess. But overall, Fujitora, fucking A, and CP0, fucking A. And that's all I got for you guys. So yeah, this is Babonkai922. I'll see you guys later. Tell me in the comments section below. What is CP0 after? Think about it. What are they after? Put it in the comments section. See you.